if you get the scoop after. Um, the paper production process is known for, for deforestation, but it's actually not the only thing that they do. They actually re um, replant some of their plants. They also release a slug-like paste into the water, which causes many effects, like too many nutrients. Mutation when algae, over algae grow into the water. Um, electronic company released heavy metals like copper and lead into the ocean, which leads to like deformities when we take in the water. Like birds, they have deformities in them. Oil and gas tanks under the ocean and or underground cause leakage. 
into a soil system. So when the soil takes in those things, they don't they usually die or other animals die from eating them, including us getting disease and illnesses. So so I bet as I said just now is that because of the industrial industrial um, industry, there are no signs of life in these um, nearby water, and they cause changes in the ecosystem, which lead to animals not having their normal habitat. And they also lead to low oxygen level, so they would immigrate from that place and go where else to live. The, um, the two things are mainly because we use fertilizer to help with the crops when they're growing. Fertilizer is a chemical or natural substance that added to the soil. A process of fertilizer is harbor approach process, which is artificially making nitrogen. And the effect is whenever the rain comes, it causes runoffs and it goes into the nearby water and will lead to eutrophication, which is over nutrients and cause algae to grow. Now aquaculture is pesticide. Pesticide is a substance that used to destroy insects. And so it helps plants to grow. The effect of it is the chemical from pesticide may change the environment, and changes in the environment causes organisms to die. Animal waste is one of the other main things in agriculture. The feces in animals contain enriched nutrients and pathogens in, in organisms in there. The effects that lead to accumulation of chemical elements like nitrogen and phosphorus. And true nutrients in the water body can kill organisms living there, creating destructive environment problems. The last cause of water pollution is domestic. Trash and waste become sewage for the environment. The effect of it is sometimes there are untreated water, uh, untreated sewage that runs into the ocean and it leads to dead zones. You guys know about that zone? No. That zone is like a place where it's these human nutrients and that animals flees from it or die so they can't move like bottom dwellers. Um, so the effect of untreated sewage is leads to undesirable substances, pollution, trash to be in the water. Most often in developing countries, they do not have access to filtering water or anything like that. So the water systems are not very good. So they have diseases and illness because of the waste in the water. Some other effects of water pollution is the zone, algae buildup, environmental changes, diseases and illness and deformities. Up there is a river in China 
and because of the industrial evolution in China, they have been doing a lot of stuff and polluting the water so much that there's too much nutrients in there, so the algae built up and creating a layer on top of that on the water. So this layer, whenever they also do algae doing photosynthesis, so they use a lot of light, but there's too much if they're blocking the surface water so the light cannot go down for the other fishes and they're also taking away oxygen from other fishes and organisms living under them so they die and all the leaves if they can. This picture of the birds is quite often because of the chemicals in the water and the birds drink it or they eat grasses or any trees that have taken the pollutants and it caused deformity in the beak. Some, whenever they were infants, some, if the beak was deformed, they could not get out of the egg shell because it's not good and they were not really able to get the food that they need whenever they try to eat. So I want you to use your flashcard and take a couple minutes and consider some possible solutions for treating water pollution. Talk to one another. Talk to one another. Should I just record them then? Are you, um, you're going to talk about that? Yeah. Yeah. A couple, not just one, okay? <laughs> All the possible solutions. Better awareness. Better awareness. Starting this You were the first one to get I saw the bar. I saw the bar. I saw the bar. I saw the bar. I saw the what do you guys think? <laughs> 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 
You know, you got to inform people more and let them know the consequences and how it could really affect everyone. Get it, get it out there. So basically, asking everyone to take apes. Yeah, tell everyone to take <laughs> apes. There. How do we um, show awareness to the older people? Uh, just through media and through word of mouth. Alright, this guy in the blue chair, you all have something saying? different. Um, use less chemicals. Um, how do you regulate that? Are you regulating how you say it? Are you mouth now? Is there... Like, um, like individually people to, uh, laws. Like, the Congress has <laughs> the laws. Moving away from that whole idea. So there will be consequences? Consequ- yes. Okay. Severe. <laughs> Anyone else? Lauren? Use natural fertilizers. Uh, do you know how to make natural fertilizers? <laughs> no, actually, um, feces does contain too many things. Like human made stuff are actually very bad for the environment, so that's not a good idea. Um, Chase, do you want to? Um. Regulations on factories, like prevent dumping of sewage directly into water sources. Okay. And then, like, laws and health expenses. Okay. Anyone else that has something out there? Anything not repetitive? Nick? Yeah, sorry, what did you say? Maybe a filtration system in, like, the storm drains. So before it goes out to sea, it can get filtered so it's pure instead of carrying all that trash that comes out of the ocean. Oh, that's a good idea. So, as I said earlier, there are developing countries that do not have money access to do those things. What's a way that you can expand the, to, not United States, but to other countries? Well, they can also use plants like the bigger one. Someone finally said it was a big fat plant. So, if, um, usually, this is what we usually do in America, is using chemical solutions. Um, I interviewed a professor at UNCW, and he described this as a method that American people use have always done works fine. Okay, I want you guys to like think about that sentence and right on the bottom of your page after number eight. What do you think about that sentence? A method that the American people use have always done works fine. Can you talk? I guess it's
about that session. Come on, guys, be brave. I'm, I'm not scared. Yes? I thought maybe that they were trying to cover up something, so they tried to say something really quick to make it sound like they weren't hiding anything, and it came out sounding really stupid. Wow, that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Um, anyone else? How about you? Me? Yeah. Uh, it just is like, sounds bad. It doesn't make any sense. Tyler wants to answer, I can tell. I you want to answer? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, it says like that has done work fine, but that doesn't mean it does work great. There can be a better option. Uh, yeah. So we should be looking for better solutions instead of using something that works fine. That might cause um, malicious consequences over the next generation. When you guys have kids and kids have kids, things like that. So, chlorine is often used is for disinfection, disinfection for the water, so it kills microorganisms that in the water, and they often left a little in the water pipe and aqueduct, so then it travels, it passes when it encounters any pathogen, it can kill them. But even if the um, water process is done, So, um, some of the effects of chlorine is actually detrimental to the organisms, humans, and the environment also. When chlorine is an element, so it's not stable, as you guys know in chemistry, it will chemically react with other organic and inorganic, and inorganic to um, form harmful byproducts. Um, element up there would be all of this is phosphate and um, chlorine reacting together creating a byproduct. So as you notice, um, some phosphorus in the water. So if chlorine and phosphate come react one another, it can harm the water even more. So some of the chlorine byproducts are actually heavy metals that we've been trying to get rid of of our water. So if we are using chlorine, it's like putting more pollutants into our water system. They also done studies and have shown that chlorine have been um, have a relationship with cancer, especially pancreatic, rectal, and bladder cancer. And it causes have correlation to miscarriage and birth defects. So it's bad. Okay. So what what um flower is this? You guys want to guess? Hmm? Uh, that's a question in your paper, by the way. Yeah. Go again. And again. No matter. <laughs> On your paper, dear. I believe in you. So, when you look at this flower, what do you guys think? Is it pretty? Yeah. yeah. Um. <laughs> so, a natural treatment for water filtering is actually water hyacinth, that is my project on. Its scientific name is Echoia crespius. It is known since a long, long time ago. It's been called a super weed. It's reproductive, it's very fast, it can multiply. Um, in a lake in about two weeks of time. So it's this extremely invasive species. So scientific um, studies have tried to avoid them because there's no way really to control their population. And we bought this flower to 
to America in the 1980s, oh, 1800s, to decorate um, our ponds and water, but it turned out that was a bad idea. They love atrophic water, which means that they love nutrients. When there are nutrients, they can multiply extremely fast. So, considering if they live in our water and they can filter the water by taking up the nutrients, so it's beneficial to us in that way. And they also take up nutrients like nitrogen and phosphorus in the water, which is a plus. That's the roots right there. It grows very fast. This is um, a river in China, again, because of the industrial evo um, evolution the river have been very extremely polluted and there's no human relation activities in them. There's possibly no fish at all. And um, have you guys studied invasive species, uh, endangered species? Mm -hmm. you guys remember the dolphin? They haven't been endangered species. Okay. So, so um, a study have done by Mayo, Mayo Champui in Patsingi right here in South Africa and they have done that the water has and has positive impact in the remaining root water. And the Dajing River is that river. Yeah, some areas of concern I told you guys earlier that it reproduced extremely fast. So what they did in China was that they altered their reproductive structures by um, making, alter the genes, genetic in the gene pool, and making a purple root hyacinth, and making the root purple, and somehow they altered their genetic materials to not multiply so fast. And in, in 2007, after a few years, the water river has been not polluted anymore. So because of the hyacinth, they were able to re regenify their river into a better than what it was. And another area of concern is that they're invasive species. So that's why we don't do a lot of research on them. But there are a few things that we can do is that we can grow them in a closed environment. Um, I interviewed with the professor and he told me and I asked Ms. Cotton and they said go in an environment so that they are enclosed and it, if there's anything happens like strong winds or hurricane, they block the hazard out of the water so they don't invade the water. So and then usually if we use them as a filter system without changing their genetic material, we should use them in like Middle, the Middle East, where there's no, there's no water, like desert, like Arizona or so, to grow and use them away from many water bodies to prevent that what happening. Twelve nineteen. Okay. It's twelve nineteen. No, no. How many minutes is in the You've been about thirty. Doesn't okay. say. Oh. Um, do you guys want to come up here and see my model, or are you guys good? I don't think you can see it back there. You can't. It's. I think maybe I'll help you, and we can tilt it. Okay. Because everything's pretty much glued down, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So it's 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 what I'm saying. So that is my water system. This is basically the water reservoir, which is the lake or ocean, and they bring the water into the primary treatment, which allow it to taking the soil and particles out of the water, like, right, yeah, okay. And then afterward, they can go into the water hyacinth, and the hyacinth roots would, would take up the water, um, take up the not the nitrogen and phosphate and other chemicals into their roots. And um, 
Yeah. And um, to the roots and filter the water even more. Like usually we put them primary, secondary. Secondary is to take out organic and inorganic chemicals, which is what the hyacinth will do, and send them the water off into a third process to buffer out the neutralize the water even more. And lastly, it will go into a reservoir, you know those big water holders you see around town? And they'll hold into that and send it off to the um, community. So, and they, they do that by um, pumping pipes and meters into the houses. And oh, what I learned from this is that when your water pipes go in the, under your house, they cannot be under your driveway because if we need to go back down there, you cannot dig your driveway off with slate, so you have to dig, move the pipe around your house. So <coughs> that's what it is. And now uh, Yeah. Uh, you turn, your paper, yeah. turn your paper over. You can use your notes. Yeah. Hmm. You got any questions? Um, <laughs> so what does water include when it's polluted? What are some things that water is in there? Uh, make sure they have it on the notes that they took too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what can water have when it's polluted? What's in there? of water pollution. Your phone's out of batteries.
solution for water pollution. That's right.